great news about a second stimulus check. We now know who's likely getting it and when you're getting it. Hey everybody, this is LA Late. Hope you are good and safe. This is a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today with great good news about a second stimulus check. We now know who is likely to get the check, when the check is going to come, and why the check is so desperately needed. We have a lot of great news for you today, so let's get right to it. First, we now know that you are likely to get a second stimulus check. Why? Because in the last few days, we have heard from all three sides, the Democrats, the White House, and the Republicans, that all say you're going to get a second stimulus check. Great news. So we already know that you're going to get a second stimulus check. The second thing that we also know is when the second stimulus check is going to get approved and when you would likely get it. We now know that the likely date of approval of a second stimulus check will be around August 7th, a first date reported on this channel exclusively over several weeks ago. Now the White House, the Democrats, and the Republicans have all indicating that the second stimulus check will be likely likely approved on around August 7th. So that is really great news. Next, there's a s series of things we still don't know, so let me get right to them. The amount of the check, the eligibility of the check, the routing of the check, and, uh, and one other factor. First, let's get to the amount of the check. We still don't know the amount of the second stimulus check. There is three proposals still on the table. One, a single $1,200 check. Two, a single check that is more than $1,200, somewhere around $2,000. Three, multiple consecutive checks that span over six months. A check arriving every month for at least six months of $2,000 and continuing until the pandemic improves or unemployment rates decrease. Those three options are still on the table. We still don't have an agreement among the three groups as to the amount of the check. Next, the routing of the check. How will the check be actually delivered to you? We don't have a universal agreement about that yet either. The reason why is because in the first stimulus check, People got it by direct deposit, they got it by uh, by direct express, they got it by paper, they got it by debit card. This time around, the White House wants to have it all delivered electronically, irregardless if you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits. They want everyone to get the check electronically. Other forces don't necessarily agree. Third, eligibility. The great news is that all three groups say that people on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits will get a second stimulus check, provided they are not one of too many dependents on someone else's tax return. So that's great news. Beyond that, we don't know anything else about eligibility. We do know that two groups, the White House and the Republicans, don't want to give a second stimulus check to everyone this time around. We ultimately don't know if they're going to go to the bat about that, but that is their current uh, position on it. Next, positive, positive news versus negative news. Someone in the comments yesterday said, I only want to hear positive news. Well, sometimes you have to report stuff that isn't particularly positive. And what's not particularly positive, first of all, is a statement by the White House that they only want to give stimulus checks to certain people certain groups of people. I have to report that. I can't tell you a half story. I have to tell you the complete story. Now, let's get to a very, very important, great thing to talk about. The second stimulus package, which is different than the second stimulus check. Yesterday, this channel in the first video always talks about the check. This video is about the check. I always start with the check in the first video. But in yesterday, I also talked about the package, which includes more than the check. 
and I talked about the package, and that might have caused some people to get confused. My apologies. Let me go a little slower right now. The second stimulus package, which is a package of multiple things, would include a second stimulus check, but also other things. Let me go over that. First, the second stimulus check, as I just said, all three groups want the second stimulus check. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's great news. Second, the next part of the second stimulus package is rent-free grants. We don't know who really wants that beyond the Democrats. Third, the third part of the second stimulus package is rent eviction moratoriums into 2021 that would prevent any landlord from evicting you if you can't make rent. We don't know the position from the, Demo from the Republicans in the White House. We do know that the Democrats want it. Fourth, hazard pay. Hazard pay is $10,000 for essential workers who worked during the pandemic. That's our third video of the day, every uh, our second video of the day, every single day. The Democrats want it. The, Repu uh, the Republicans haven't said anything about it. And Steve Mnuchin, who's, head, who's the Treasury Secretary, part of Trump's cabinet, has suggested he perhaps doesn't want it. But we don't, I think it's in trouble. I really do think it's in trouble. Finally, unemployment benefits. That's UI, PUA, and FPUC, $600 from the federal government. The Democrats want to give more of it. You're, it's currently available, but the Democrats want to give more of it. That's great news. The Republicans, the bad news overnight is that Steve Mnuchin, on behalf of the Republicans, said they don't want to continue it as it's written. So let me recap. The great news is that a second stimulus check, the check itself, will be coming. The questionable news is what part of the remainder of the second stimulus package, renters assistance, hazard pay, uh, unemployment benefits, what will happen with that? I have to give you the complete picture, and there you go. Next, let me get to three things you absolutely have to pay attention to in ensuring that you get a second stimulus check. First, some viewers have dropped in the comments. They don't think they have to do anything. They said, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. I got to tell you, no, no, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. I got to tell you that we already know from the first stimulus check that you are either eligible and ineligible. But if you are eligible for the first stimulus check, some of you didn't do a very simple, easy, great, simple step to get the second to get the first stimulus check. And because you didn't do it, you didn't get the first stimulus check. For the second stimulus check, it's likely that those same people will have to do an additional step. So it is a mistake to say, I don't have to do anything for the second stimulus check. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. For some of you, that's true. For some of you, that's not true. I am here to help you, to tell you as we get closer, as we get to late July, what you may have to do. And I've been detailing over the last couple of days. Second, another, mis another fallacy is that some people say, if I didn't get the first stimulus check, I won't get the second stimulus check. The great news is that's also wrong. Why? The second stimulus package is check check is written differently. This is really great news. And I've gone over it before, but let me explain it again. The eligibility is wider for the second stimulus check. More people are eligible. More people get the second stimulus check than the first stimulus check. And this is especially true for SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. A lot of you were not eligible for the first stimulus check if you are on SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, and Railroad Benefits. Why? Because the first stimulus check was not provided to people who were dependents on someone else's tax return. If you were listed as a dependent on your daughter, your son's tax return, on the first stimulus check, you weren't... <laughs> See, I'm about to sneeze about it because it's so important. <laughs> you weren't eligible for a first stimulus check. 
Under the second stimulus package, it's totally different. They throw that away. They didn't like, they realized they messed up. So under the second stimulus check, it's okay to be a dependent on someone's tax return. You will get a second stimulus check. The only case in which you won't is if there are more than three dependents on that tax return. The next fallacy that people often state in some of the uh, in, in response to a second stimulus check is that you don't have to do anything because the IRS already knows where you are. Everyone already knows where I am. I don't have to do anything. We know that that is true if you have been on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits since 2019. Because in the first stimulus package, they said, we know where you are if you've been on benefits since 2019. We've been paying you benefits since 2019. That's great news. The twist is if you are newly on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits in 2020, in this year, if you just started benefits of this year, the IRS may actually be sending you payments and benefits. But for purposes of a stimulus check, they don't know where you are. Now, don't hate me. I'm just telling you how their thought process works. They actually said that for people who are newly on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits in 2020, we don't know where you are. You have to, and especially don't know where you are if you haven't filed a 2018 or 2019 tax return, you have to do something else. So I'm here to help you and ensure that you do that something else if you have to for the second stimulus check. There are three things that you need to absolutely know as we go into late July about getting a second stimulus check. It is not accurate. It is not correct to say, okay, it's approved. Am I getting it? Am I not getting it? There's a, more than you need to do as a viewer of this channel. And it's pretty simple. This is what's great news. It's very, very simple. You need to know, one, are you a dependent on someone else's tax return? You need to know as we go into the second stimulus check uh, vote, are you a dependent on someone else's tax return? If you aren't, great. If you are, you need to know how many dependents are on that tax return. Why? Because I said it and I'll say it again. If there are more than three dependents on that tax return that include you, one of you is not getting a second stimulus check. That's how they've written the rule, the law currently. Now, it may get changed by late July when it goes to a vote, but you need to know if you're a dependent on someone else's tax return, and you need to know how many dependents are on that tax return. Remember, very simple, if, it, if there are less than three total dependents on that tax return, all of them will get a second stimulus check. If there are more than three dependents on that tax return, four, five, six, seven, eight dependents on the tax return. They're not all getting second stimulus checks. It's as simple as that. Next, you need to know whether or not you filed a 2018 or 2019 tax return. Now, I'm not saying you have to file it. I just saying you need to know whether you did or you didn't, because this may trigger a requirement for you to do something additional. That's very simple, very easy. It's good news, but I need you to know whether or not you did that or not. And you need to know if you're a husband and wife, and if, if your husband did it for you, your wife did it for you, uh, if, the, if, if you're divorced, if the, if the prior spouse did it for you, uh, you need to know that. You absolutely need to know that. Finally, and this one's a little strange, you need to potentially know how much money you made in 2019. If you made anywhere over $30,000 in 2019, you really sort of need to know where that number is. If you made less than $30,000, you really don't have to do anything. You don't have to worry about this step. But if you made more than gross adjusted revenue in 2019 of more than $30,000, you sort of need to know that number. Why? Because the Republicans are teeing up this contention that maybe we won't get a second stimulus check if you know you made a certain amount of money in 2019. Interesting. I mean, as, as I sit here today, I try to do everything that helps you. And uh, here's a couple personal notes. Yesterday, 
there were some interesting comments. I don't know if they're from haters. <laughs> I don't know if they're from trolls. But one person said, um, just tell me if I'm getting a check and that's all. I don't need to hear anything else. <laughs> that doesn't work because ultimately, I'm not creating the rules. The IRS is actually making rules as to who gets the stimulus check. And even if you're eligible for the stimulus check, you may have to do more than just say, give me a check or not give me a check. Second, um, someone said, just, just tell me, is there a check or no check? I don't need to know about anything else. Well, you do because ultimately some of you may not get a check if certain things aren't happening. Not my rule. I didn't write the law. I'm just the messenger of the message. Ultimately, Congress thinks that certain people shouldn't get a check if they don't do things additionally that are very simple. That are very simple, like a non-filer file that says, hi, I didn't file tax returns, but here I am. They made that requirement in March, and they're likely to make that requirement again. Finally, some people got confused the issue of the check versus the package. The second stimulus check is the check that comes to you. The stimulus package includes the check and a lot more. What I want to end on is the following, and this is also so important, but it's also really great news. And I got a lot of comments about this, really wonderful, kind comments. People ask me, hey, LA, you know, what if I have unemployment benefits? What if I get hazard pay? What if I get rent assistance? Do I still get a second stimulus check? Yes. The second stimulus check does not conflict with anything else that I'm discussing on this channel. So everyone that's on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, you all will likely get a second stimulus check because all the proposals say you will. There is nothing else in the universe that that trumps, <laughs> that's a very bad adjective, that uh, blocks you from getting the second stimulus check, except that, you know, number of de dependents on the tax return type of stuff and things like that. There's nothing else. So if you got a PPP loan, if you got PUA, you got FPUC, you got hazard pay, you get um, renters assistance, if you get anything else, don't worry because it does not conflict. That's great news. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is inform and educate and inspire you with this channel. And sometimes when I'm delivering what someone says, like Steve Mnuchin, it's important to understand the weight and the severity of the, of the comments. Steve Mnuchin is a Treasury Secretary. He is part of the White House's cabinet. He ultimately moves the goalposts on l Treasury lending IRS money issues and stimulus package issues. So his words are very critical because as the Republican Party is head, head of the Senate currently, they ultimately push the goalposts on where a second stimulus package could land. And hence, when I will refer to whatever Steve Mnuchin says, I'm not praising him. I certainly am not supporting him. But I'm telling you the good and the bad. And sometimes there's good and sometimes there's bad. For now, there's a lot of good about the second stimulus check. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants it to come to you. Everyone wants it to come in late July. So that's the great news. Coming up later today, we have hazard pay, renter's assistance, uh, PUA, FPUC, EIDL. Those will have good and bad stuff in them as well. Some people don't want to give it to you. Some do. But I will filter through it with you. And as always, stay positive and stay informed and stay of LA for more. Thank you.